Hello everyone, welcome to another section of Schneider Electric PSC training tutorials where you will learn Schneider Electric PSC programming. Now let's see what we shall cover in this lesson. In this lesson we are going to learn the normally open contact, normally closed contact, call and inverse call. We will begin with the normally open contact. What is a normally open contact? A normally open contact is a soft contact that is used to build logic instruction within our PLC. It is an analogy to the physical to a physical normally open contact so if you are conversing with electrical relay diagram you must have heard about a normally open contact which is just a switch like this which is just a switch like this a normally open switch like that and when the switch is closed it allows the flow of logic and when it is open it prevents the flow of the flow of logic from point from point one to point two now let's see what it says it says that power will flow from the left to this contact when the associated variable to the contact is at logic one or on state this is when the contact is closed and when the associated variable or assigned bit value is false or equal zero the contact is open so when the associated variable is logic is at logic one the contact becomes closed and logic flows from the left part of the contact to the right part of the contact otherwise logic will not be able to pass from the left part of the contact to the to the right part of the contact okay so for example let's see how an AND gate can be used can be implemented using normally open contact so we have an AND gate is a two input AND gate in an AND gate we have input A and B and an AND gate says that the output will only be, be true only when both inputs are, are true so you can see in the first case the A and B are both are both off so logic will just be stocked logic will just be stocked at this point so it will not be able to pass through now a is off and b is is on so b is on yes yeah, so when b is on b becomes active but a is is open so the logic is stuck at this point and now it says that a is now on and b is and b is off so b is off a is on the logic will pass but it was going to be stuck here okay so this is what i'm saying let me just so we are saying that when a is now on a becomes energized but the logic will pass through and it will be stopped here it will not be able to pass through since b is off and finally when b is on and a is on as well then you realize that the logic will now move through and we are going to have a logic on this board that is when the output now of the AND operation of A and B becomes becomes true to the third phase. so this is another situation of an all situation and an all situation says that the output is 1 when either of the inputs or both of them are, are 1 so you can clearly see that first uh, operation on the true table is that they are both off when they are both off logic will be stopped here and the logic will be stopped here in that case the, out, the output there will be no logic here it will be no logic going to the output and when a is off and b is on so in this case b is on and when b is on logic will now flow like this to the output and when a is uh, on b is off then this path becomes true and logic arrives at the, the output and when both of them are, are on on you realize that there will still be a logic at the output that's why you see that when either of them are on or both of them are on then when either of them when one of them is on or both then the output is is high okay now the normally closed contact it says that power will flow from the left to this contact when the associated variable to the contact is at logic zero or off state this is when the contact is closed and when the associated variable or assigned value bit is true or equal to one then the contact is, is open so it is just an inverse of a normally 
open contact. In this case, it will allow the flow of logic from its left part to its right part when there is no logic, when the, when the logic on the associated variable is a zero. And when the logic on the when the logic on the associated variable becomes one, then it's going to prevent the flow of current. So when the logic is one, okay, it becomes something like this. It becomes like a normally open open contact. And when it is zero, then it becomes closed that and it allows a flow of, of logic. And we can use this to implement NAND operation. And NAND operation says that when both of the inputs are one, then the output is zero. So you can clearly see it here when when A is off, B is off, so they are all off, logic will flow, logic will flow. So logic will arrive at the output. When one of them is off, like A is off and B is on, so this will prevent the flow of logic. This will prevent the flow of logic and A will allow the flow of logic. And when a is now on and B is off, so A will prevent the flow of logic and B will allow the flow of logic. And when both of them are on, then they will all prevent the flow of logic because they are now broken. All when they are on, on state, they behave like a normally open contact like that and they prevent the flow of, of logic. So the output now, output logic becomes off at that instant. And the no operation, the no operation can be implemented by a series of normally closed contacts. And with the no operation, the no operation says that the output will be the output of the two operands will be true if and only if and only if both of them are are off. Like you can clearly see that when A is off, B is off, then they are all closed. Okay logic will arrive at the output when one of them is open like for example a is open b is on so a is off sorry a is off and b is on so a will become off logic will pass through and it becomes stuck here a b is now on so b is on means that b is open b is now like that sorry b on means that b is now like this Okay, this is now a, a normally open contact and it will prevent the flow of logic. And when A is on, B is off, then B will be closed and A becomes now a normally open contact and it will prevent the flow of logic. So the output is zero. And when both of them are on, then there will be no flow because the logic will just be stopped here. Now, output coil. In an output coil, if any left to right wrong path passes power that is when the wrong is a logic true the output is energized at this time the variable associated with the output coil is true or on if there is no continuous continuous path from left to right then then we have a a false and the output is de-energized and its associated variable becomes false or or off Okay, so if there is any logic on this path, if there's any logic one on this path, on this path, okay, on this this side of the coil, then the coil is energized and will allow the flow of of logic. And the variable associated, this variable associated, the variable associated to this coil becomes logic one. Otherwise, the variable becomes logic zero. Inverse call. An inverse call now is just an inverse of the normal call. In an inverse call, if any left to right wrong passes power, the output call is de-energized. At this time, the variable associated with the output call is false. If there is no continuous left to right wrong path passing power, the output energizes and the variable associated to it is true. So here instead, when we have a logic zero on this side, Okay, when we have a logic zero on this side of the on this side of the the coil, then the variable associated to it, this variable becomes logic one. And when there is when there is a logic now on this on this path, there is a logic on this path, then this variable instead becomes okay, logic zero. That's what this means. 
okay so this is an example of the implementation of a of a coil you can see that a is just lashing this this coil so when a is is off there will be no flow and when a is energized when a becomes energized then a becomes close okay so when a becomes close or on then this coil becomes energized and logic flows to the x variable and the x variable becomes on and similarly for an inverse coil when a is not energized that is we have no logic here we have a zero logic here okay the associated variable the x variable becomes okay becomes takes the on state it becomes energized when there is no logic here that is when a is off so when a becomes energized and we have a logic one here then the associated variable becomes false and the coil now becomes off all right so these are some exercises that we are going to realize so exercise one says that design a true input x or logic gate such that the output is true if only one of the two inputs is true and the second one says that design a true input x nor gate such that the output is true if and only if both of the two inputs have the same the same states so you can take some time and pause the video so that you you try this exercise and then you can come back to it later on.